Hey Christian. Hey Kyler. Want to see a magic trick? No, no, not really. Well, you're going to anyway, because I'm going to make industry news appear right now. The first PlayStation 4 Special Edition has been announced, and it's Metal Gear themed. Announced for release in Japan on March 20th, the PS4 is themed after Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, the prequel to the upcoming Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Uh, the Special Edition comes with a copy of the game and a decal of the Fox logo on the gloss section of the console. This announcement follows the earlier announcement that Ground Zeroes will perform better on the PS4 than the Xbox One, rendering in a native 1080p as opposed to the Xbox's 720. It has not been announced whether this special edition will be released in North America or PAL markets, but one can always hope. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is slated for release in America on March 18th. To any fans of Bioshock, I hope you're ready for some, uh, some pretty devastating news. Last week it was announced that Irrational Games, the studio behind the popular franchise, is closing down. Ken Levine, the now former creative director and one of the co-founders, released the news in an open letter posted to their website. He revealed that the studio will be laying off all but 15 employees as he turns his attention toward making more narrative-driven games that are highly replayable and only delivered digitally. However, the Bioshock franchise still lives on. Levine noted that the series would be handed off to 2K Studios. All we can do is mourn and wait to see what the two parties release in the future. And we have a new character for Smash Bros, Punch-Out's Lil Mac. First introduced in the 1983 arcade game Punch-Out, Little Mac is a small boxing star most famous for the 1987 NES game Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and most recently star of the 2009 Wii reboot of Punch-Out. Speculations on his inclusion for the upcoming Smash Bros have been flying around the internet for years, especially after his inclusion as an assist trophy in Brawl and the introduction of a boxing ring in the Mega Man video. As a character, he's actually quite small, just a little bigger than Olimar and Pichu, but man, does he pack a wallop. As a boxer, he naturally specializes in close-range combat, punching his way through opposition with a chargeable knockout move comparable to DK's giant punch. His final smash sees him turn into Gigamac, a larger, super-powered version of the boxer. No word yet on whether Mike Tyson will become the next Master Hand, but again, one can only hope. Are you a Halo fan? Are you a Windows phone owner? If you answered yes to either of those, here's some coolness coming for you. No, you cannot play Halo on your phone, get real. Instead, Microsoft will release a digital assistant a la Siri or Google Now named Cortana. To make it even better, Jen Taylor, the original voice of Cortana, reprised her role to record lines for the feature. She's supposed to make her appearance when the upcoming Windows Phone 8.1 update is released as a complete replacement for the current Bing feature. If you're worried about her turning into a howl on you, don't worry, because you can control the data that she has access to, like location data, personal information, contact information, etc. She's supposed to be adaptable as well, and will learn about you just by observing how you use your phone. She can learn your interests, where you live, where you work, all that jazz. It's expected for Microsoft to reveal more information at their Build conference in April, and is it just me, or could we be watching the movie Her come to life? Ever played Pokemon Red version and wonder how it would go if Red had 50,000 voices in his head? What do you think would happen then? Well, if you guessed a cult of the Helix fossil, a battle of democracy versus anarchy, and a 16-hour fight against Route 9, then you may want to get your head checked. Or you may have foreseen Twitch Plays Pokemon. Twitch Plays Pokemon is a live stream of a ROM-hacked red version that takes commands from the Twitch chat, forcing Twitch users, sometimes over 50,000 of them, to both work together and fight against each other to try and guide red to be the very best like no one ever was gotten so popular that Twitch users from completely unrelated streams have complained that it's causing chat delays and messages to just disappear. At this time of recording this segment, the stream has gone on for almost eight days, and a total of over 300,000 participants have helped guide a clearly tortured Red on his path to earn uh, all the gym badges. Currently he's at four, he's got 13 Pokemon, and has released six of them. So Christian, what'd you think of my trick? I thought it was pretty damn stupid. Well, I'm gonna make you disappear now. Back to the show.